Good morning. This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 339. I'm sorry that my voice is so deep. I just woke up and this is what it sounds like. Um, so yeah, I will try to raise my voice so that it sounds normal. Um, but I, um, I wanted to just answer something real quick before I go to yoga. I am just so blessed that I work in this field and I get so many questions and I just get to hear about people's experience in the world and I get to find out and know for sure that I am not alone in this and you are not alone in this because listen to this question guys okay so somebody wrote to me and said do you know if there is a way to naturally remove and never have plaque or tartar on your teeth. I don't smoke, I don't drink Coke, coffee, or wine, and when I told my dentist that I eat raw till dinner, he told me not to eat red fruits, which makes no sense to me, since incorporating fruits, my teeth health is much better. What is your opinion on this? And um, I just think it's hilarious because these doctors and dentists, they're not trained on nutrition And I hear all types of crazy things that these doctors and dentists say. Remember, guys, my dentist said I had to incorporate protein into my diet or else my teeth were not going to heal. And it is not true because I have more than enough protein in my diet. Leafy greens are so high in protein. So this is just ridiculous. Fruit has protein. Everything has protein in it. And... I just, I just wish that I honestly wish that these doctors and dentists were trained in nutrition. I do because they don't know they get sick. They have health problems and they're just telling us what they learned in school. And just because they paid a lot of money to learn it, they think that it's true. And you know, they didn't even learn anything about food like doctors. It's not a requirement to learn about nutrition. And if they do learn, they're not learning. (sighs) the truth. Sorry. Sorry for yawning. They're not learning the truth. And so anyway, um, I, uh, hmm, I don't know how we're going to solve this, but I do know that I can answer this question. And the answer is that is absolutely ridiculous. And what are even red fruits? Like you mean like strawberries, raspberries, apples? Does that count as a red fruit? (laughs) Red dragon fruit, um, cherries. Yeah. So those things are not going to destroy your teeth. They're not going to cause plaque or tartar. Here's what's going to cause plaque buildup. Okay. Not flossing, water picking, and not brushing your teeth. Okay. You've got to brush your teeth. You got to water pick and you got to floss. I personally recommend you do these things three times a day. Actually, even more if you want. Okay, so I've become um, really, really aware of how much my teeth health are determined by the amount to which I take care of them. Yes, my diet has very much affected my teeth health, but I've seen a dramatic difference and I haven't had any cavities, okay, any new cavities form since I started taking care of my teeth, which means flossing after each meal, which means water picking when I can, when I'm home. If I eat and I'm home, after I eat, I will water pick. I do really recommend a water pick. I mean, yes, it's an investment. I think it was like 60 or $70. I'm sure you can get a cheaper one, but I really recommend it. If you can't water pick, <sighs> sorry. So um, rinse with water. Or eat something green, eat some romaine or cucumbers or celery after your fruit meal. That will help to remineralize the teeth. Always have floss on you and at least floss after you eat. This is very important. Okay, or switch with water. You can always switch with water. Um, This is really important to get the debris off and to not have things build up. And probably the number one tip that I always give that I talk about passionately is to never eat dried fruit. Never, ever, ever. Because... It sticks to your teeth like candy and it starts to eat away at your enamel. And once you lose your enamel, it's gone forever. 
I mean, I'm saying that loosely because I know some people that are re uh, growing their enamel with this, with different things. Like one of them is this toothpaste called Theodent and it's literally a $125 toothpaste. And I don't have it because I can't justify it (laughs) yet. But um, Ann Osborne and some other friends of mine, they highly recommend this toothpaste. I'm just like, I don't know, guys. It has citric acid in it. And I feel like, why am I paying $125 for citric acid? But anyway, okay, I got to go. I got to run to yoga. I thank you very much. And I just wanted you to know that there's people all over the world being told these lies, being told crazy things. And it's just not true. It's just not true. They don't know. And it's not their fault. It's just they don't know what they don't know. And you can even go to a nutritionist and get bad advice. I've gone to nutritionists before, before I went raw. And so I had to become my own doctor. I had to become my own, my own nutritionist, my own trainer, my own healer. Because the truth is, is they just don't know. They don't know. They don't have the time to research the way that I do. I've dedicated my life to self-development and self-knowledge, like researching and finding the truth, which is very, very hidden in our society. And so I hope this helps. I'm not saying to listen to me, but just listen to your instinct and your intuition. You know, it's really hard to know the truth. But what I do know is that it's our responsibility. Nobody's going to care more about our health than we do. Nobody on earth is going to care more. Not a doctor, not your family member, not your spouse. You've got to take control of your health and you've got to do your own independent research. And yeah, sure. I definitely want to whiten my teeth and I've been doing, I've been brushing my teeth a little bit with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. Um, But even that, I don't know if that's safe. I know a lot of people recommend it and it is helping a little bit, but is it safe? I mean, I don't want to damage my teeth any more than I have already from the years and years of crest whitening strips and soda and candy and processed foods and not flossing, not water picking. I wish so much that I learned earlier how to take care of my teeth, but hey, we're all doing the best we can with the knowledge we have. So be grateful. Be grateful that you're listening to this right now and you're learning the truth. And please buy a water pick and please floss and please brush your teeth, my boo, at least twice a day. If you're not brushing your teeth twice a day, I don't, I can't even help you. But I would recommend at least like after every meal. So that's kind of like five times a day, right? Um, Because like once in the morning, once at night, and then after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But you don't have to be so crazy. Um, But just make sure... Take care of your teeth, my boo. And and don't listen to this craziness. Red foods are very important. Don't limit yourself to any color. No color discrimination. Okay, please. This doctor is incredible. Uh, I'm sure that this doctor is not healthy or not eating raw. And like, I don't take advice from anybody that I don't want to trade places with. And you know what's crazy about the teeth issue? Let me just say real quick. Every single person that I've met in real life Like every single celebrity has fake teeth. You just need to know that. And then every person I've met in real life, like I've met influencers and celebrities and like just people with beautiful, beautiful teeth. Every single one of them has veneers or crowns. Every single one of them. It's like, it's absolutely incredible. And they're not raw vegan. So what's going on? It's not a raw issue. It's a human issue. It's a human issue. We didn't know how to take care of our teeth. And plus, it's not natural to have super white, bright teeth. Every single person I've ever met that has perfectly, amazingly white teeth, they're fake. And so we're comparing our real teeth to people with fake teeth. So just calm down, take a deep breath, and write a list of all the things you're grateful for, including your beautiful, beautiful teeth. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.